at Edmunds with Distortions Unlimited. And in this unboxing video, I'm going to show you what comes with your Dragon and how to set it up. The Dragon's quite big. You get a LED fog light, fog juice, and a bracket and bolts. So this is your dragon. So this is the black dragon and uh, we also have blue and orange and green and red and white. We just figured, why mess around? We're just gonna go for the rainbow. So, that's your dragon. In this fog machine, it's really kind of amazing. You've got a remote control and a color generator that's super cool. Of course, there's instructions and so forth that comes with it. The first thing you'll need to do is put on the bracket. You've got little rubber washers. Okay. And we are going to include a bolt, uh, washer, and nut to attach to this. So, the first step is to hook on the fog machine. Now, for security reasons, we like to put the strap above the flat strap. So if it ever did the bolt loosened or something, who cares? Put that through the hole. And there's a uh, washer that goes on underneath that's a lock washer, basically. And then you'll need two, one or two crescent wrenches. I, I don't think <laughs> it doesn't have to be that tight, um, but it is helpful if, uh, if you're really trying to secure it to have two. And this is a uh, half inch wrenches. With it comes a small bottle of fog juice so that you can get started. I hate that when you get something and you can't even use it right away. Now, um, this will last for, I would assume, days. But um, when you want to replace it, we kind of are fans of Froggy's, Froggy's Fog. Um, now, here's what's important about this. Well, first of all, Froggy's is very safe fog. It's good quality. There's a lot of manufacturers out there that make uh, fog, but uh, we're kind of fans of this stuff because it's quick blast and uh, it's a fast dissipating fog juice. Now, here's why this is important. When you're running a haunted house, you want fog to linger like you're in the swamp forever. This stuff comes out and does its thing and then it just whoosh, wisps away. So if, it, if this thing's in your living room or your bedroom or something and you're showing your friends, you don't want to be like standing around in fog. So really, uh, really recommend this stuff and uh, you'll get some of it when you order. So the next step is to plug in your power and your fog controller. Now this will allow you to um, manually activate it. I think this may need to be in there to use the remote control. I'm not for sure on that. So the next step is you'll need a drill like this, a couple of small screws. These are like two inch wood screws that um, go into a two by four. And um, 
This is actually the most important part of the setup. You have to find a two by four. So you'll need a stud finder. Basically, you find that two by four and they're usually 16 inches apart. So you can figure out where you wanna hang it and within, you know, eight inches one way or the other, uh, you can hang this thing. So the stud fan finder will keep you from making little holes across the wall. I don't know if you've ever done that, but I sure have. And it's very tacky. All right, so you take the whole unit. Now you might want to mount the fog machine after you hang this up, just because it's maybe a little easier. And then you can either eyeball this or get a level. And, um, and then put this lower screw in. But that's really key that this is anchored securely. Um, the cord will have to be plugged in. These you can tighten. Now, when you put the piece on there, you'll be able to see if the fog is aimed at the opening of the mouth. So this is just a large cavity, which gives the fog some breathing room, uh, which is important. To, so it can cool down. Now I will say that if you're gonna be out of the house and not around, you ought to unplug it just for safety, but it's the hole is designed to uh, keep it from getting too hot inside the dragon. And you also, can adjust the um, positioning just on the edge you hang it on the bracket. The way the bracket's designed like this, it actually hooks and kind of pushes it into the wall. It's Look at them all. Very cool, very creepy. Oh, wait, there's the dragon's daddy, Tom Castigate. Tom did a beautiful job on this dragon. And I can tell you that this dragon was sculpted months ago and we just got so busy with the season that they're just now coming out, but it's a good thing. And um, we talked Martian into doing all the colors we would ever want to do. And so there they are, Tom, beautiful work. Well, thank Absolutely you so much. He stunning. was very, he or she was very fun to sculpt. Wow. Yeah. And like reptiles, do you like reptiles? Oh, I love reptiles. I, I, I have this tendency to want to sculpt everything with scales and then after about the first thousand I start losing my mind and promise to never do it again and then I yeah. do it again. While that's heating up, I want to show you this amazing stuff. This is your remote control and it's got an unlock and lock and you can push the unlock and it'll just start running and, and it'll keep going until you push the lock. And then you get all these colors. Your dragon can breathe purple smoke if you want. So with the two controllers that come with the dragon, you can do this, and this, and this, and this. You can have red smoke, orange smoke, yellow smoke, green, Various shades of green, blue. I like that purple. It's that cool. It's that simple. And this this fog just whisks away. It just you get the effect, and then it goes away. You amaze your friends, and then you don't have to stand there in the smoke.